I am Will. And this is a little bit of Cuesta College right here. This is the uh, physical education department, which is now the kinesiology department that includes any swimming, health, uh, what else? Nutrition. Possibly nutrition. Don't quote me on that one. But here's one of my classes that I had in room 1100. And check this out. My other class was in the pool area. But first, a little bit back here, okay? So this class that I had here was multicultural health. Multicultural health, you talk about um, things like You talk about things like family, family trees, also carbs, what else? You talk about um, the different holidays and how people celebrated the holidays, what else? You talk about the heritage, the backgrounds of different um, ethnicities, just learn a bunch, you really do. Learn how to do a food label, things like that. It's really fun. I suggest taking the class. It's Multicultural Health 208. Best teacher that I had ever. All right, let's go back to here. Beautiful day here at Cuesta College. I hope you're doing well. Here's one of my classes that I took. In the pool area. It was aquatics. Now, you want to know how deep the pool is? All right, I'll show you right now. I do know that it is seven feet right there. That's a good shot right there. Now, I do know that it goes down to 14 feet. You're like, what? This is a huge pool. I'm telling you, it's huge. It really is huge. And like I said, sorry about the uh, video from earlier. My phone died, which is all right. So, like I said, pool is 14 feet deep. You're like, how can that be? Well, I'll show you right now. Gotcha. 14 feet deep. Gonna zoom out right now. 12 foot. I think right here is also a seven foot, right about here. As soon as I zoom out. Anywho, that's also seven foot. Down to here. This whole pool. Wow. Hard to believe. This is so awesome out here at Cuesta College. <laughs> so this is my journey here at Cuesta College. I'm giving you a little tour. Like it says in the description, Cuesta College tour. Another class that I took was weight training. I better hurry and finish this because my battery on my phone is going to die again soon. in this building here that was weight training really cool and then uh, I had other classes too hope you're doing well today staying healthy and safe out there I know it's not fun being here right now, but like this in this situation, but we will get through this situation as best as we can. Look how beautiful this is. Like, would you want to work out here at Cuesta College, like as a job or do some studying like on a weekend out here at Cuesta? Man, oh man, it is beautiful, beautiful. So, straight ahead, 
second floor library that's where everybody's supposed to do their studying just saying and if you need a career career connections is in this building in the 5300 building just saying trying to get the word out here <laughs> just saying I don't know though it's up to you get your ASCC ID card just kidding All right, so sorry about that. So, uh, Quest to College tour here so far. The bookstore is in that and through there. Let's see, another class that I took. Well, the thing is, the best way to do it is probably go that way. Look at how green the grass is. Everybody enjoying their day so far? I know I am. If anybody has any questions later on, feel free to uh, ask them in the chat at the very bottom. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of this uh, video, once it's published later, I will publish the video as soon as I can. I'm going to try to be quick with this one because the last one kind of messed up on me because my phone was dying but i got it charged up a little bit i think this program that i'm using for um to go live on facebook it's like a secondary program but i think it uses up the battery way too quick and it says i'm at 20 percent on my phone right now but a couple classes that i had are in this area here one to the right, but through this door here. All right. Earlier, there was a police driving through campus. There were people walking around, but I don't know why they were there. Hopefully, they'd gone home already. I doubt that they did, though, but... Just in case they haven't. I gotta be quick here. Fine and performing arts. Okay, so right through here, I had a class. Might be a little dark. 7120, music appreciation. And music appreciation is, ooh, I apologize about the lighting there. Music appreciation is a class where you learn about pop music, like American popular music, such as oldies, 60s, 70s, 80s, music like that. That's really awesome. Stuff like the Beatles or stuff like the Rolling Stones. That's That was a really enjoyable class that I had. And that's one reason one reason why I took that class is because I love music. I love music. And I enjoy listening to music. I enjoy learning about music, learning different cultures of music. One of my favorite bands in rock and roll is the Beatles. Can't go wrong with the Beatles. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, Hey Jude. Gotta search them. Search them up. Beatles, right now, do it. Or after you finish watching this video. All right. So, counselors, anybody that you need to talk to is in through here. Better hurry though with this video because I don't want to get in trouble.
You know what? I took history over here. History classes, yes. In this area here. I'm not gonna show you the exact buildings where they were, or the exact room. Just because I feel like I gotta be quick in this video. <laughs> And I want to make sure that this one uploads and not saying that I'm live. Anywho. So nice out here. Nice view. But. Right. Hold on. Down this way. I had a couple classes down there. Math and English. Ooh. Fun. <laughs> I also had another English class. In here too. Plus, journalism. Journalism is right there. You can see their journalism. I'll come in on a little bit more. But, yeah, I had journalism. The Questonian. I took journalism twice so far. Didn't really have an interest yet but maybe I will pretty soon the glare I know the glare is not fun but Questonian right here this is where, where my classes was and history And if you want to know about Cuesta Radio Station, this is where the class was. The actual radio station is right here, where the speakers are. Yes, my friend, right here, where the speakers are. Probably can't see it, but I could. I should have given a tour earlier of the Cuesta radio station inside it actually so hmm, the reason why I chose to get a job or to learn about radio was because when I was let's see how old was I think I was maybe seven or eight years old when I started learning about radio or taking an interest in it. Uh, back in when I was, say, how old? Probably seven or eight years old. All the radio stations back then, they used to have more budget to be able to be live on the air like all day and all night so oftentimes I'd stay up late at night making a request saying hi this is Will from Atascadero I'd like to hear such and such song and I'd say oh I'm and then when I would see them at a live broadcast I'd go up and introduce myself to them and ever since then I liked radio I enjoyed it I knew all the artists that were on the radio station. <laughs> it's funny. My grandparents used to ask me, who's singing this song? Or who's singing that song? I'm like, oh, it's so-and-so. Or, oh, it's this group. And they're like, oh, cool. And I, they were really impressed with how much I knew. But as I got a little bit older, some, some of the groups... It's like, who is this? I don't remember who this is. And it's really fun because, I don't know, it's just fun. When I was probably fourth or fifth grade, I would always set up my room as a radio station, like a pretend radio station. I'd have a microphone. I'd have, I'd also have a music software, free music software that I, it's a demo version though. It was Simeon Wave Station, and I'd put all my music on my computer and play it and talk like I was on the air. 
and that was really fun. By the time I was in sixth grade, I still did that. When I was in seventh grade, I enjoyed it still. I still did that. Maybe when I was in eighth grade, I didn't really pretend like I was on the radio anymore at home. Um, in high school, when I was maybe a junior, because a freshman year, I wasn't like, I wasn't really like i'm not thinking about college or anything i was more thinking about college when i was maybe a junior or senior i think i was a junior junior year i was thinking man i want to be a teacher and then i'm like nah i'm not good at math which i'm not good at math at all to begin with i like math i just don't enjoy it i'm bad at it I've always gotten bad grades in math ever since elementary school. Math is one of my weakest subjects. Um, and then when I was a senior, I'm like, no, nah, I want to be a meteorologist. Because I think it was when I was a sophomore, I went to KSBY, not KSBY, I went to KCOY. And I met the meteorologist, the chief meteorologist there. His name was Jim Byrne. And I still remember that name to this day. And it was really fun because... I got to see the studio inside, what they do at the 5 o'clock news. I saw the 5 o'clock news. I went down there with my father, which was really cool, too. Um, and it was really fun because when I was... I maybe even had the thought of being a meteorologist when I was a junior. But still, that's a lot of math involved. But then... I was like, no, by senior year, I'm like, I'll take, I'll go to college. I think I'll be a, I didn't know what I wanted to do by the time senior year came around. I'm like, me, eh, I'll see what I want to do when I get to college. And then when I graduated high school, when I graduated high school back in 2006, August of 2006, I went to Cuesta College, which is ta -da! right there. Sorry for that lighting there. But I went to college. I took one, you know, broadcasting class, didn't pass it because I also took some other random classes, didn't pass those either. And I was working McDonald's at the time. <laughs> I know, fast food. And then 2007, I was still taking some different classes. I really didn't have a counselor to guide me in the path to go towards radio. So that's what kind of took me about 10 years to get through my college career. Um, by then, it was like... You know, I think I'll be, 2008, I was like, I'm going to take astronomy. I took astronomy. Like I said, I don't have time to t show you where astronomy building was because there's a police officer on campus, campus police. So um, that's beside the point. Anywho, so when I, back in 2008, I took a couple classes and I took health once I was working mostly full time and didn't have a whole bunch of time to really study so by the time 2009 came around spring 2009 I took some broadcasting classes fall or fall 2009 I took some more I think random classes as well spring 2010 I took a broadcast uh, like an internship class and this journey here you're gonna like because guess what we're gonna be going on a little road trip here in a little bit so hopefully my camera decides to be good this time and I hope it decides to be good because you want to know something that's what we're gonna go to we're gonna see a little bit about the journey that I took the road trip I took to my internship class 
And then also, summer 2011, I did a radio internship. It was actually a television internship at a TV station in Santa Maria. And then, was it, yeah, 2012 or 13, I did a, another radio internship at a radio station in Santa Maria, which was really fun. We might do a little journey on that as well, just in case, if you want to go on that little journey, see how the drive was. I'm going to take you on this little journey today. And then 2014, I took some random classes. By the way, the gymnasium, that's where I graduated. In there. In 2016. So 2014 and 15, I was finishing up my uh, academic classes. And I'm thinking about taking some more classes. Yeah, at Quest to College. Maybe some communication studies or maybe a journalism class. Again, try journalism, try some journalism classes. I'm probably gonna do that, you know, just to have a backup career or just to have something as well as broadcast communications, such as not only radio, but broadcast journalism. That'll be fun to do, I think. You can do broadcast journalism at a radio station, be a news director for a news talk station, or work on the TV. But I wouldn't want to work on TV. I'm just saying. I don't know. It'd be kind of fun, but I've always heard in my broadcasting classes that being on the TV, it adds 10 pounds. Do I want to be 10 pounds heavier? Nah, not really. Anywho, I'm just rambling on right now. Anywho, so... When I took radio classes, I took a... What was it? It was an advanced audio. That's where I learned how to make station IDs for radio stations. It's like... You know, you hear the, the stuff in between the songs. The one that says, you're listening to such and such station. That's the one where I made station IDs. I enjoy that kind of stuff. I enjoy programming. I enjoy making station IDs. I enjoy making that kind of stuff. It's really fun. It's enjoyable. And I hope you enjoy the uh, broadcast here out at uh, Cuesta College because this is so fun out here. It's a whole lot of fun out here at Cuesta College. I mean, if it were up to me, I would take college classes anytime. Learning's good. Learning is good for you. Learning helps you be a better person. I'm just saying, if you want to advance your career, take as many classes. Find something that fits you. I'm trying to find something that fits my career. Whether it's radio, television, or film. And right now I'm gonna get in my car and take a little detour to, you guessed it, sorry about that, here. All right. So, hopefully you're still with me. Because I'm gonna be with you for a little bit more. But right now, I gotta focus on driving a little bit. So, here comes my, so, when I would leave college, when I would leave school, I'd start my trip going to my, to my, my place of internship. 
I apologize for the lighting. It's gonna be a little bit bad, but we can make it through this. There we go. All right. So oftentimes, like I said, I would go through and I would drive to my internship, which was is in San Luis Obispo. I apologize for the little bit of bumpiness along the way. Hope I don't make you seasick or anything. But right now, I'm just out here having some fun. And here's a little bit of a trip. You'll see how I did this when I went to my radio internship class. It's fun, actually. It really, really is a lot of fun. It, I enjoy it out here. I enjoy the scenery here at Cuesta College. I hope you enjoy the scenery at Cuesta College, San Luis Obispo. By the way, like I said, tuition is $46 per unit. If you want to take some classes this coming summer, you can certainly do so. Cuesta.edu or uh, at... Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to think about something here. Or, by all means, if you want to take a class this fall, Cuesta.edu, like I said, this is no endorsement for Cuesta College, but this is a little uh, video that I'm putting together for not only just general audience, but for potential employers. Yes, potential employers. And um, I know it's facing the, the uh, front right now, but I want to let you know how far the drive was or show you the drive to my radio internship. All right, we're just gonna go there. We're gonna stop there and I'm gonna stop the video there. That way you can kind of see what I did for a radio internship or not see what I did, just kind of see the drive. All right, see the drive that my radio internship was all about. It was not a paid internship. It was a free internship. It was through Cuesta College. And I got a grade. And I got an A, B plus. Yeah, I got a B plus in the class. I would have gotten an A, but hey, I passed. I still passed. I really, I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you're having a fun day, and uh, if there's any questions that you have, go ahead and ask them in the chat section, or once this video is published, let me know your questions and I will answer them in the next video. This is a way to grow my audience. I'm just saying, it's a way to grow my audience. Now, who here likes radio? Who here listens to the radio? I listen to the radio. I listen to Christian music, I listen to country music, I listen to news and talk. I do occasionally listen to rock, but not a lot. Um, if I did, it would be alright, maybe for about two minutes or so. Good. 
like you didn't even see that um, license plate number. That's what I'm trying to avoid on this on this um, drive. Leave your name and comment in the chat window if you can figure out how to do that during the uh, Facebook, not the Facebook, the um, YouTube Live. This is actually really fun right now. I wasn't going 67, I was going at foot. The car ahead of me is going faster. Anywho, so this is part of my drive that I did. I go down this way. This is Highway One, and actually, people can ride their bikes on this road. I actually rode my bike from close to college into town. Yeah. I did. I'm telling you, I did. See that little, uh, you see that in the background there? Up on the hill? That's, uh, um, KVEC. I'm driving, so I really don't want to take the phone off. Um, I'll show you a little bit about that soon. But hopefully everything's going well for you today. Does anybody have any plans for the evening? I know this video is pretty long, but hope you can bear with me. Like I said, we're going to um, the internship location where I did my first radio internship. My first, very first radio internship was down a ways. It wasn't over here though. Trying not to see. Try not to get too close so you can. S I don't want you to be able to see the. Uh, I don't want you to see the license plate numbers on these cars. What are we doing right now? Oh, um, like, does anybody have any questions so far on uh, the video or anything like that? I'm going to leave it this way until I get to my place of where I did the internship. I know this is fun for some, for others, hopefully this is not a... I don't know what that thing is in the right corner of my... Yeah. Screen, so just bear with me on this. I know I've got one viewer right now. Hopefully I'm not boring you to death. see uh, who's up, who's out, what not in their cars, which is good. I'm trying to pr do privacy right now as well for people. Um, 
so like I said this is a drive to the radio internship where I did a radio internship at and 2015 let me give you a little story about 2015 so 2015 I got actually no 2011 I was still actually in college so 2011 I got a job at the uh, at a radio station as a board op for a news and talk station and the hours would be and my hours were 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. that's right the hours so the hours, like I said, were 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. for the news and talk radio station. This was my job in 2011, and that lasted a couple years until 2014-ish. Then I got off doing mornings, maybe around 2013, late 2013, early 2014, and I would be out more setting up radio broadcasts. And also, I would set up for live remotes. I'd even board up on weekends as well. Um, and I I was still finishing college in 2014. <laughs> and somebody did not like that I had to work on Fridays, uh, like leave work on Friday mornings, which, oh my goodness. I had an early morning class on Fridays. But hey, I was actually able to finish college because that was important to be able to get my radio degree yes a lot of people um, back in the 60s no in the 70s and 80s have not gotten their degree in radio they've dropped out of college because they didn't really need a degree back then I mean yes a degree works to an extent but you know, it really comes in handy nowadays to have a degree, whether you're still in college, try, trying to pursue something, radio, eh, you just probably got to really know the person, a person there at the radio station, and it's pretty much easy training, easy, easy training, and... So that radio station in 2015 went, kind of started losing money and I started to not like radio. I mean, I, I like radio. I just started to not, um, I was like, man, I'm not going to be able to work on radio like for the rest of my life because that radio station lost money and it was a long journey. So, 2015 to 2018-ish. I didn't have a radio job. So, from... And then 2019? No, it was 2018. Yeah, it was 2018. I got a job back in radio again, back in May, which I was glad to have. And that's the place of internship where I'm going to right now. It's pretty fun. It really is fun. It is super, super fun. I enjoy it a lot. I hope you do too. It's 
you know, it's super fun because I love radio. It's my passion. It's my career goal. Um, but I recently got laid off from working in radio or at that radio station because due to the coronavirus that's going around, yes, it's not fun. That radio station, how radio stations make their money is through their clients, such as uh, one that we just passed. Or uh, they salespeople at a radio station, they go out and sell advertising. So right now, since a lot of business business owners and businesses are closed for now, they're not, the radio station's really not going out and getting sales information, like getting sales brought in. So they're basically losing money. So they had to lay a bunch of people off from the radio station recently. Which I'm kind of bummed about because I hope I can get back into a radio job at some point. And um, so this is where the place of internship was. And uh, this is where my last job was at a radio station, which is pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this um, long, long uh, time that I was here with you for. And uh, there you have it, my friend. I hope you enjoyed and it's been fun. I will be back with you real soon again. Take care. Bye.